missed that. Good thing I did miss that. <laughs> Jesus. Hello, YouTube. Hello. We're just getting hyped up for leg day. Well, you are. I am. I don't. I never hyped. need to get hyped because I'm, I'm constantly hyped. hyped. Yeah, same. That's what this video is about. Yes. This video is about confidence. I'm going to relate back to the gym. And I'm going to relate back to other stuff as well. Don't plug it. So, I need something like coming up. <laughs> Jokes. So basically, before I do a big lift, like a deadlift for like 800 kilos for 12 reps. Get the fish out of it, bro. Oh, I always did it, bro. Get out, bro. So basically, I hyped myself up by basically getting psyched up for it. Now, the power where that really comes from is more anger, I'd say. And that's not because I'm an angry person, it's just because that's how I do my lifts. And I think for most people that is anger, where before when they do the lift, or a point that has like happened in their life, which is quite emotional, which helps with the lift. Does that make sense? I don't know if that makes sense. Like, well, I wouldn't say emotional because obviously that's you can't. Well, really... something that like something you can feed off, which can sort of help you do the lift, that kind of sense. thing. Yeah. That makes sense. And like for me, like stepping up to that. I know we're doing legs today. Yeah, we are doing legs. You love leg day. We I love, I leg, love day. leg day, to be fair. Dude. We love it. Um, got my thermal on as well. Fuck um, up and go around. I told you not to swear. You're going to have to cut that out now. Yeah. No worries. But anyway, so today when we do a squat, for instance, I, I want to hit a PR today because I feel good. I don't feel good. I feel energetic, but I've been on less than 100 grams of carbs for two days now. Good. Including today, so that's two days. I've not. It's the longest I've ever, it's the longest I've ever gone. Why well, haven't I been on them, Toby? Tell them. Could you been smoking weed and you had no, the munchies wedding oh oh yeah he's got a wedding because he's getting married um i'm not gonna say you're not getting married i'm not just so everyone thinks like, getting bro married. where's the invite where's the invitation bro it's got a message but yeah anyway thoughts. so before stepping up to the pr today basically to me that will show like a lot of confidence which is obviously what the video is about so and it requires, it does require a confidence. I mean, to step underneath the bar, step up to the bar, step underneath, the, like benching, squat, deadlift, whatever it is, it does require a lot of confidence to go to it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's just like, that's not. What is your car full of? Oh my! All my sister's stuff from uni yesterday, isn't it? Yeah. And toys, yeah. God, twitching my fresh fade, bro. My, my fresh trim. Anyway, but that's just not. That confidence thing, stepping up to the bar and stuff, that's not just in the gym, but life in general. So, for instance, like, uh, going to a job interview, yeah. speak in front of a crowd, talking to a girl. It, yeah, you need it. Oh. Cheers for that. Thanks for that. Yeah. <laughs> and really anything, I think, it requires a lot of confidence to do something which you're nervous about. And one, uh, one thing I see a lot of people, they start doubting themselves, like... So let's say for let's choose a job in job interview, yeah. So let's say you're let's say you're going to job interview tomorrow. Yeah. I know you're not like this, that's why I hang around with you because yeah. you're quite positive anyway. But let's say you were, yeah. Yeah. You'd go into interview and you'd be like, doubt yourself, like, oh no, what if they don't like me? What if I don't do this? What if I don't fill the form out right? Yeah. What if I, what? There's a lot of what ifs, yeah. And like, and what if they turn me down? And what if this happens? What if that happens? What if that happens? And do you, do you, do you get on yeah, no, going? That's that's what a lot of people tend to think, yeah. True. And I've been like it as well, but it's I did some research. Like, yeah, and I sort of I changed my thinking to sort of think. Okay, so let's think. I'm I'm going to a job interview or grades university because I know a lot of the kid, people on here are teenage. Yeah, teenage teenagers. That's teenage. the one, doesn't it? Teenagers. Yeah. Um, and if you sort of if you go into like your exams thinking, oh, I've not done well. I've not done this. I've not, not done that. I've not this, done this. this. Yeah, or even that. You're already putting yourself down. Referring back to the lifts. If you go to a deadlift, thinking, <laughs> I might lift it. I might I'm, I might not. I'm not too fussed if I do or don't. You've lost already. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because you're already in that negative mindset. But if you go in something... That you know you're going to... If you go in something like, you know what, screw that. I'm going in with this mental can window. 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 Mace window. Purple lightsabers. I watched Rogue One today, Star Wars. Just to let you know. Anyway. Not as good as the others. Shut up. Sorry. Um, if you go in for that can-do attitude, should I say. So yeah. it's like, 
you know what, screw it, I'm walking up to this bar, I'm going to rip the deadlift off, the, rip the bar off the floor for the deadlift, I'm going to get in the bar, I'm going to squat that, I'm going to bench press that, I'm going to go into the interview, I'm going to make them see, this is why you need me working for you, I'm going to go into that, um, what is it that you do? Exams. Exams, and be like, look, I've aced it, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Go, go into the job, thing. Go into the job interview. All the time, yeah, just positive mindset, like, you go into that job interview thinking, you've left thinking, they want me as CEO of this company now. That sort of mental think mentality thinking. Does that make sense? Yeah, but obviously, no, I wouldn't say CEO because that's quite high up. But I get what you're saying. Like obviously, job interview, going in with a positive mindset, coming out with a positive mindset as well. Yeah, because if you so go... like going in saying that, yeah, I'm going to get it, and coming out saying that, yeah, I got it. Yeah, if you go, right. if you go in something half-hearted, negative, whether it's you see a girl in the bar, you want a number. You go up to like half-hearted, negative thinking. Oh, I wonder if you'll give me it. Wonder if she won't. She ain't gonna give you it because you're gonna look. Do you know what I mean? She's yeah, gonna sense it. that. Same as the job interview. Same as the bar and a deadlift or whatever. If you go up to the girl thinking, yeah, you know what? I'm good looking. <laughs> I'm a ten ten. I got the fresh cut. I got the hugging the sleeves t-shirt. I got the tan fleek in. I'm looking good. <laughs> I'm smelling good with that Dolce and Gabbana on. I've got the I've got the Royce parked outside. She's gonna want it. She's gonna want my number. Do you know what I mean? If you go into interview thinking. Do you know what? I'm going to walk in this interview, show them why I can do this, why I'm the right person for the job. I've got all the credentials. I'm, I smashed the application process. They're not going to want to hire me for this job. They're going to want to hire me for the manager role as well. Yeah, it's true. Just that positive mindset. I just think like it's self-confidence because you you owe it to yourself. The world owes you frog all. I almost swore that. Yeah. The world owes you, the world owes you nothing. Yeah. And that's true. The world owes it's you true. nothing at all. That's thing that I used to think it did when I was younger. I used to sit around on my ass thinking, oh, yeah, something will come along. Yeah, the, the, the world will look after no, me. It owes me something. Nothing. I've done something for it. Hell no. Like just recently, Hell I just, obviously, no. Obviously, when I was in college and like before I started uni, I was like, no, nah, things are going to happen. They will come themselves. I can just sit back and relax. Yeah. No. <laughs> it don't work no like that way, way, man. And most importantly, I think, is you, you owe it to yourself. Like one, thing I realize, you, like one thing I realised, if you truly want something, you got to actually get off your ass and literally go get that thing. And, and like, you, obviously, relating and relating that to this confidence, it's like if you want that job, get up, gain that confidence, and actually go for that job, and like go go speak to whoever you need to speak to to actually get that job. Just yeah, really, that's quite a good way to end it. Really, yeah. I think. Excuse me. The last thing really I end it with is, it's quite, it's quite cheesy or corny. It's right. But I read a thing. Well, what we said. I read a thing that's not cheesy as well. I don't care. It's true. Self confidence. <laughs> do it. Can do attitude. You do it or you don't do it. There's no in between. Never. You're going to submit. Yeah, I'm going to give them my all, my hundred percent. Going to smash it. I'm going to rip it to pieces and kill it. Or just don't even bother because there ain't no point really. <laughs> um, the last thing I really want to end on. I saw a quote on Instagram yesterday, saying. <laughs> Like about, it refers back to lifting weights, that analogy of a squat. So there's a lot of heavy weight on your back. Yeah. And you'll drop down to the floor, like today. But it's up to you if you're going to stay there or come back up. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Some of the stuff seems right in my head. But yeah, no, it, it, does right. it does make sense. But that's really what I wanted to talk about. Anything you want to talk about or plug away? No, but that quote that you said just now. I'm going to get that tight. You can, just. You can no, you can relate that to real life as well. Because there's always a heavy load on your back. Yeah, and you. That can, that can bring you down. Yeah. But it's only you that can lift yourself up. I don't know. McDonald's good. Jerks. Yeah, I know what you mean. I know you, you mean. know what I mean. I know what you mean. Exactly. I hope they get what they mean. But um, anyway, guys, listen. I hope you enjoyed it. It was really just a bit of not. I would say it's not any motivation. It's just. Do, I'd say, I'd it's either say, do well, or don't. Like you either want to do it. become more of a series now, like us talking about. Yeah, because a lot of people are liking it. But just anything, and we're filling out the car, bro. You have to get a new car soon. You have to get a range. I know. Um, but yeah, just remember in life you can do anything as long as you put your mind to it. Do it or don't do it. No in between. Either no go worries. kill it or don't bother with it. On that note, we're going to take this pre workout and we're going to go that train one. legs. That one. New supplements are coming soon, by the way. Shut up, man. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Where are they going to find them? TobyTiles.com? No. <laughs> don't start searching. Don't say start searching. <laughs> don't start <laughs> the porn site. End. Hope you enjoyed the workout. I mean the video. We're gonna go train legs now. Are we gonna video that and post that? Maybe. If they're lucky. We'll post that 
after. After, yeah. So this will be first, first and then we'll post legs like a leg day later or probably, yeah, probably next leg. leap year when we train them again or something. Probably, probably, probably. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, comment. Anything you want to plug? Come on, it'll, it'll be down there. <laughs> Link in description. <laughs> like your sister.